Hey guys, welcome back to Inchworm Gardens. Today is video number one of a series that I'm calling Variety Spotlight, where I'm going to be taking individual varieties and spotlighting them, talking more about them, and giving you my feedback. So, maybe like some of you guys, I spent the entire winter combing through this catalog where there is hundreds of different varieties of herbs, fruits, veggies, everything you want. And this is where I bought most of my seeds from. Now, I was so excited to grow some of these varieties that I would look them up on YouTube because I wanted to see what they looked like growing in someone's garden. And a lot of them I couldn't find. So to tell you the truth, that was a big reason of why I wanted to start this channel because I wanted to showcase and highlight some of these varieties uh, to provide that information to other gardeners who might have been in the same position I was in and just wanted to know more about them. And the variety we'll be talking about today is a little Asian green called Tatsoi. The name Tatsoi comes from a Cantonese word meaning drooping vegetable. It's a brassica, so it's related to kale, broccoli, and cabbage. And it is just a fantastic salad green. It has these little spoon-shaped leaves. Uh, another name for it is spoon mustard. Beautiful dark green, really nice rich taste. I'll give you a little taste test at the end of this. And man, we've just been harvesting this almost daily for salads. Uh, mixing with our eggs, sauteing it, just has grown so, so well. This is super cold hardy. It can handle temperatures down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and in the warm weather, it will start to bolt. When a plant bolts, it basically means it's going to flower and seed. It's the end of its life cycle, which is great for the plant, but it's not the best thing for your greens because it can actually make the leaves start to be a little bit more bitter. Um, but you do get these nice little flower head, which is very reminiscent of broccoli. Um, a big head of broccoli that looks like this is honestly just a bunch of tiny little unopened flower heads, if you didn't know that. This, you can eat this, has a really nice flavor as well, but it's really grown for these dark leaves. Now in the right conditions, a single plant will spread out a full foot diameter. On the seed packet, it actually says to give it a 12 inch spacing, so that means a single plant will spread out just like that. Now, I've heard that in the cool weather, that's more how it grows, low to the ground and spreads out. In warm weather, it has more of a upright habit, which we're down here in the south in Tennessee, and so ours is definitely more upright, but that's totally fine. Now, the way that I uh, sowed these seeds, so I took one foot square, kind of just scratched the surface of the soil, got a pinch of seeds, and just sprinkled it all over there. And then about two weeks later, I did the second um, square called succession planting. You plant one area and then a few weeks later you plant the other. Uh, therefore, when this, this square is starting to give out, you have your new square. And you can do that all the way down the line as, as much as you'd like. We only grew two square feet of it, and honestly it has been more than enough to feed our whole family, giving away some to friends, and just snacking in the garden. So, man, it is just a fantastic salad green. Definitely gonna be one of our staples each year. Um, tastes great very versatile i think i've already mentioned all this uh, just really wanted to show you what it looks like growing in the garden doesn't take up a lot of space no major um, damages or disease we are starting to get uh, flea beetles come in they leave these tiny little holes which is oh actually here's one right there a little flea beetle so these tiny little guys and watch them point jump like a flea anyway but you know what we're gonna eat all these before they continue bolting or before they get start e getting eaten by pests so that's totally fine we don't mind um, what else about hot soy hmm well I don't know anything else about it <laughs> it's my first year growing it and it's great just really wanted to show you what it looks like and encourage you to do it as well all right so how does it taste well let's give it a try Here's that little flower head I pulled off earlier. Mmm. Nice mild flavor. A little bit like broccoli. Sweet. That's almost a nutty, buttery texture and flavor. Really tasty. Oh man, that, yeah, the flower head's very good. Try the leaf. Mm. A little more intense flavor. A little more bitter. Honestly, I kind of like the flower head even better. Let's try another one. 
yeah, it's just good, real rich, almost like a spinach flavor. Mm. Terrific. Um, when you saute it, it really cooks down and um, it has more of a mild flavor. So if it's a little strong for you, you can do that, but really good. That's a great green. All right, I'll pick some for dinner. Thanks for watching. Like I said, I'm gonna do this on many different varieties, so stay tuned and see you on the next one.